No. Dude, do you remember the time we went to North Carolina? It, were you yes. with me at Charlie Goodnights? Yes. We went next door to that bar. Yes. 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 We oh, went I next know that door. bar. There's a bar. Right. And they are all singing along to a song you never fucking heard <laughs> in your life. Yeah. It's got my dog <laughs> in the porch <laughs> and the house. And they're singing this shit and they're going all around. <laughs> They're, they're, they're dancing Is it that, together. That step dancing that they all did. It together? wasn't that. They did that. They definitely did that too. But this was another thing. This is just another, a song that Brian and I had never fucking heard of. <laughs> but apparently, it sold like a hundred million, uh, you know, albums in the right. South. Right. So we're in the South, and this is like it comes on. They're like, "Woo!" It was like I'm like, "We're in another country." <laughs> Like when you're you're going to like a place where they're country fans, that is a whole nother country. That's the people who know who won NASCAR. Right. Did you hear Dale did it again? Yeah. Did you hear he did it again? Yeah. And then there's fucking everybody that lives in that area. I mean, that's a different part of the world. Right. There's songs that they love that you have never fucking heard of. Yeah. And they'll be like, You ain't heard of Clint Friven? No, Clint Friven. Clint Friven sold 14 million albums. Right. And you're like, what? <laughs> Who the like, fuck is Clint Friven? And you realize like Pearl Jam sold 1 million. And they are just as ridiculous as like uber goth guys. Because you know how like uber goth guys, they're like wearing like black makeup and you know, they're like really like completely like posing in this bizarre thing that they're doing. What do you do with a fucking cowboy hat shithead yeah. with a turquoise belt buckle? And d- slippery ass boots. Those things are dumb. It, what yeah. century are you living in? What are you What are you doing and it's here? It's like it's like people that maybe they love Halloween and they want to go around <laughs> all year. You know, I'm a cowboy. What Got if the, my dog on the porch? What if the music doesn't even sell that well? It's just that they're so dumb they keep on losing their CDs. So they have to keep on buying them over and over. Well, again. look. <laughs> as far as outfits go, cowboy's a cool ass outfit. That's one thing I have to admit. Like, if you're dressing up like a cowboy, if you're a dude and you got the balls to rock cowboy boots and a Stetson, and, and you're going out. ass jeans. But even or not, or not, you know, that is a ballsy move. Right. That's a ballsy look to commit to in the year 2013. I see guys but on the But why plane. not? I, you know, I'm not hating. I just want to be clear about that. I'm not hating. If that's how you like to dress, why not? Why not? Well, look at me. I'm almost 50. I, I dress like a 15-year-old. Always have. I dress Always like... Do. I dress like a yeah, junior varsity coach. I wear fucking <laughs> junior every- varsity coach. Yes, sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, you get to a certain point. You're like, that's what's comfortable. That's Fuck the it. most comfortable thing. <laughs> and then I think about people that you you think about the possibilities in your wardrobe. They are limitless. A woman could dress up as you know uh, Queen Elizabeth every day. As a guy, yeah, these goth guys. They go, fuck it. I'm painting my nail, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm gonna grow one I'm gonna grow my pinky nail really long. And and you just <laughs> fucking yeah. and and it's like you can blow people away with that shit, but I don't it's like the last thought in my head is to even make an impression with my clothing. I want it to be a zero. <laughs> but you should wear a whistle. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's- Why not? <laughs> That would be hilarious. Why not? Just wear a whistle wherever you go. Are you, are you the coach? Fucking hilarious. Nope. <laughs> not the coach, but every now and then you want to get somebody's attention. Ah, that's great. That Brian, you're buying it. me a fucking whistle for my birthday. Can you imagine Absolutely. if dudes just started wearing whistles? It became the new cross. <laughs> Like a cool whistle. Oh, he's got a cool whistle on. Right. Uh, look, it easily could be. Like, you have a whistle and you're like, hey, bam, bam, Like, that could be the thing in clubs. Like, oh, you can see how good he whistles. Yeah. And it guys, could be like a mating thing. They you would, know? Yes, it's, we would be like birds chirping at each other. It's the rape whistle. Strange whistles. Right. That is a rape culture whistle. <laughs> it's the opposite. It's the mating yeah, call ritual. Right. It's like, it's when trying she to wants you to lure stop. people in with the dance of noise. If we can make cool noises like a whistle with our mouths, I guess some people probably can. There's dudes like, like Michael Wils- Woodslow type yeah. dudes that can make strange things. I can do a water things. drop. Isn't it oh. funny though that that's such a, it's such a valued skill? All right. That's pretty good. You guys are fucking 12 years old. Look at that. That's what men do, ladies. There you go. That's what men do if you leave them alone. Leave them alone long enough. They fucking sit in front of each other making stupid noises. And then they buy whistles. (laughs) 